Good morning guys. We are back from camping. We've been working the last like three days, four days. I think I think this is our fourth day working on the forms for the footing. My trailer is back in its spot and it won't be moving again this year, hopefully. But I wanted to show you before we get completely done what we've done. So we have, I think I've showed the forms around the edge. We just completed the outer edge now. That board is just so that we can go in and out. Sitting right there, already cut. Then we dug this down a couple inches and added in road crush, uh, two inch road crush, and we are packing it down so you can see here. This is packed and this is not. So that will be all around the perimeter because of the clay, that's a better base than the clay. And also, once the footing is poured, we'll be putting in gravel all here as well. So we just finished, a few minutes ago, the outer edge. So this is what our basement is going to look like. We ended up going around the rock uh, because the guy with the big excavator came and he couldn't bust it out with his bucket and he didn't want to charge us three to five grand to just get out a little bit of rock so we went around the rock we actually found a product called dex dex pan dex pan that you drill into the rock and pour it and fill it up and it will actually expand and bust apart rock so we're gonna give that a try up at the top we used a jackhammer yesterday to bust away a little bit here so that we could fit in the drainage tile that black pipe around the corner but yeah so that's what we're doing I just thought I would show you before we get too much farther I wanted you to see that we have the extra space underneath and then we're filling it up with the gravel. And a shovel. A shovel? Mm -hmm. Why do you need a shovel? For the pipe. For the pipe? Yeah. Where's your shovel? I can't find it. Oh, you can't, can't find it. it. Uh oh. I don't know. Dude, you have to find it.
Okay, we are done for the day. We are finished forming all of our footings all the way around, except for one little spot back here that we have to do after we pour this set. So yeah, everything is formed all the way around. Everything's braced and staked, so it can't go anywhere when we go to pour concrete. I'll kind of show you, I guess I'll have to flip you around one second. So this here is going to be our basement, right? So we have a little storage area that will be here. And then this 45 here is actually going to be like a closet. And we're going to have a pressure tank there for the well. And then eventually one day we'll have a bathroom and a bedroom maybe. And this will be just like the little nook where I keep my uh, deep freezer. And then we'll have a big entertainment area. And in the back corner there we'll have a utility room. So that's what this tank is. It's for the sump pump hole. So we needed to get that because we have to run the drainage tile underneath the footing. Um, and yeah. And then our set of stairs will come from right here. So we tamped all our gravel or packed all our gravel and this whole dirt area will be filled with gravel. Uh, Kyle and I are going to work on that this weekend. Get some gravel in here, just a thin layer, get everything cleaned up and out of here so that inspection can come, look at our forms and then we can pour concrete hopefully next week. Uh, we have to lay rebar in the forms first. Uh, so all the rebar is, where is it? right there you can see uh, we have to lay all the rebar in it's not required to lay rebar but it's just insurance that you know your footing's not gonna crack apart and move and whatever so rebar is cheap for what it does and what else i think that's pretty much it so yeah we just got to clean up out of here uh, so that when the inspector comes uh, it doesn't look messy and I think that's pretty much it for this step. I'll maybe film a little bit of the rebar going in on Monday. Today's Friday and a long weekend, so we won't be doing anything this weekend. But yeah, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so that you get my videos as soon as they come out. And we will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!